Hi, Jason. Uh, you sent me a JPEG file, so I just, uh, rather than the Lightburn file or the DWG or DXF, uh, so I just created uh, what's similar to the top part of the five there uh, to demonstrate this uh, process for you. Um, so really what you want to do to use the node editor and connect your shapes, uh, here's kind of how this works. So the node editor is what's used for editing the points um, on your shape. So you click on the node editor, which is this uh, right below the hexagon here, uh, edit nodes, and then you click on the shape that you want to edit. And this gives you all the points that make up the shape. Uh, sometimes these will be little squares. So the green, green dots here, if you zoom in, those are smooth points. Uh, if it's a corner, it'll be a square, meaning it's a, a round point. Let me show you that what that looks like. Um, so this is a kind of a corner point. The difference between a corner point is it's like uh, when you move the the angles, it, each side is independent from each other. So you can have a kind of a sharp point, whereas a smooth point will be like a like an arched curve. So depending on what shape you have, uh, it may change how that uh, how that shape ends up working. Anyways, um, it doesn't really change the process for fixing your shape here. So what you're going to do is you have, like, this is using the top corner of the five as an example. Um, you're going to break the shape. So you want the outside line to be connected, and you don't really care about the inside line. So what you're going to do is when you're in the node editor, you're going to break this shape. And the way you do that is you hover over kind of a point at the end, or if you don't have a point at a good point at the end, you can hover over the line and hit I, which will insert a point. Uh, so that just creates a new point. Uh, but when you hover over one of the points, you push B and that's for break, uh, break object. So we're going to break that. Um, and then we're going to go over to the other shape here, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to break this. Um, so I'm going to break down here, uh, kind of like partway after the curve. And this, this takes a little practice to get the hang of, but you'll figure it out pretty quickly. Uh, so we're going to break this shape here. Um, and so what happens when you break the shape is it now lets you drag that point away and it, it, you know, it's not going to, so like if you drag an unbroken shape, it's going to move the whole line. So if you break the object first, it breaks it into two separate points. You can now drag, you know, one up here. Um, and we're going to take this one that we already broke. I think I broke it here. Yep. So we're going to take that one. And what we're going to do is we're going to connect those together. So if a shape can can attach, it will let you do that. And as soon as you attach it to the other one, it's going to connect this. So it's now one object. So you'll see how both lines became dotted. Um, so now what you can do is you can fix your fix your points here, um, kind of fix your shapes, you know, to kind of build out the corner um, as necessary. So we're going to kind of Fix this. And we're going to make this kind of out here. Bring it in. Um, this one here, we're going to change that. So the um, keys, the key sequence to change these from like a square. So this one's a corner. So if I drag this, it's going to only manipulate one side. And this is going to manipulate the other side, but it's going to give us kind of a harsh angle. Uh, the key sequence to change that is S for smooth. Uh, or if you want to change it the other direction, it's C to change it back to a corner point. So we're going to leave this as a smooth point. We're going to kind of move it out here. Um, and this is the part that kind of takes some practice to get the hang of uh, how to manipulate these uh, beziers and these smooth points to like make the shape that you want. Um, so basically, once we've connected that, that shape is now connected. And you have to just go through, go all the way around your shape and make sure the whole thing is connected. So like right here, I just cut it off because I didn't want to sit here and build the entire number. Um, but if I wanted to do the same thing, basically once we get the entire shape 
all connected. Um, we can do that. So I'm going to break it here just to demonstrate this. I'm going to break it in this corner. And so what that actually does, since this is already broken at this end, when we break it, it makes it into two shapes. So the inside shape, we can just delete. And we're going to do the same thing down here to this one. If I can click on it. There we go. So I'm going to break this. Uh, we'll break this down here at the corner. And so now we have an inside shape we don't care about. We're going to delete that. And the outside shape, you can either uh, we could either move these and connect them together like this, um, or I could just draw draw a new line. Uh, you know, I could connect them like this with a new line. And so sometimes when you draw a new line, see how it's not a dotted, moving dotted thing? That means it's not part of the same shape. So what we do is we go back into the edit nodes and we just grab the end of the line and we reattach it. It'll snap naturally to the end of the line. And we have to do that on both ends sometimes, but right now it looks like it's all connected. So we can kind of move our points around as needed. And so now we end up with a shape. That's how we want it. But, you know, normally you would go around and do this, make sure the entire outside outline is the way you want it. And then you'd end up with the, the proper shape there. I uh, hope this helps uh, kind of explain how the node editing tool works. And uh, hopefully it'll save you some time. Uh, what some of the other people were talking about was connecting... Uh, Let's go back here. Um, so they were talking about when you have your shapes still uh, connected, what they were saying is you could draw a rectangle between them or draw multiple rectangles between them. So you could certainly do that. I find that to be a little uh, cumbersome and it kind of makes you, makes it look like kind of a weird thing that's not necessarily what you want but you could draw a bunch of shapes like that um, certainly a possibility you could also draw uh, so you could do that select all those shapes <coughs> and then weld those uh, so that's certainly one way you could do that you could also just draw your own arbitrary shape. Uh, so you can draw a line, you know, kind of across here. So you could draw your own shape there. Um, select all those. And again, weld those. <coughs> and that certainly will work. But I find the best way is to just edit the nodes, break the shapes. <coughs> attach the outside shapes together, and then delete the inside shapes. Hope that helps.